so we were discussing the cell death which occurs by two main processes that is apoptosis and the necrosis we have cleared the first one which was apoptosis now here today uh, we are discussing the necrosis necrosis is an uncontrolled and unexpected death of the cell which occurs by accidental damage or unexpected events it is called a cell murder because a cell is killed by extracellular or intracellular events like apoptosis we uh, we have studied that in apoptosis the cell does not cause the neighboring cells to damage or there will be no inflammation in the neighboring cells but here in the necrosis it also cause the neighboring cell to damage and also there will be the inflammation in the neighboring cells so what are the different causes of the necrosis so here there are different causes which include the injury or infection infarction inflammation or a cancer to the cell it is also induced by some of the physical and chemical agents like ultraviolet rays like x rays like uh, other chemical agents which include the acid or alkali or whatever the other injurious agents so how this process begins in apoptosis we have studied that there will be the morphological changes in the cells but here these uh, morphological changes are different like necrosis is a lethal process it is not like apoptosis it is not a normal physiological process it is a lethal process in which the cell is disrupted organelles are damaged and the whole cell disrupt and the cell membrane is also damaged there will be the holes inside the cell membrane so the whole cell become damaged and there will be the death of the cell so what are the different morphological changes which occurs inside the cell number 1 is the cell swells and the membrane become damaged this is the cell membrane and it is damaged in the apoptosis while it is occurring in the necrosis by different way that is there will be the holes which are formed in the cell membrane while in apoptosis there was a bubble there were bubbles formed in the cell membrane the next one is the intercellular content when there will be the holes in the cell membrane the intracellular content which is present inside the cell will leak out in the extracellular environment so the contents which are present inside the cell is moving out in the process of necrosis the next one there will be the drastically increase in the calcium level calcium ion levels are increased in the cell inside the cell calcium ions are increased so whenever there will be the increased calcium level there will be the activation of the lysosomal enzymes and lysosomal enzymes we discussed that they causes the digestion of the intracellular content of the cell or a damaged content of the cell so lysosomal enzymes are uh, also activated so next what will happen there will be the reaction which occur in the neighboring cells because this membrane is damaged so this membrane is made up of phospholipids and the major component which is involved in is arachidonic acid which is re released and the products which are formed by these damaged cells get reacted with the these are the neighboring cells so these neighboring cells react with these these neighboring cells then react with the arachidonic acid arachidonic acid so which causes the following changes in the neighboring cells or a neighboring area number 1 there will be increase in the temperature the second one is the histamine release 
The third one is the migration of leukocytes and macrophages. These leukocytes and macrophages causes the engulfment of the material which is present around this damaged cell. The third one or fourth one is local edema. As water is moving from the blood to the extracellular environment which causes the local edema. The, an, another uh, pus formation we know that leukocytes and macrophages are engulfing these particles so when these en engulfed particles are damaged they will release the products which include the pus the whole these products are called pus so there will be the pus formation the activation of the immune system immune system is also activated and the, finally there will be healing not of this cell but of the surrounding area the surrounding area is then finally healed and there will be the no further deterioration in the area so hope you get the point and if there is any question you can ask